Hi. Today we're looking at this Acer Aspire 8920. Okay, it's got backlight failure. Um, when you switch on the laptop, it comes on for two, three seconds, and then black screen. Generally, with all laptops, when you have no backlight, it's either the lamps which have failed, the inverter which has become faulty, a faulty motherboard which is not sending the right voltages to the inverter and in some rare cases the switch that is activated by closing and opening the lid of the laptop some of them have a, a switch which cuts the power off to the inverter and uh, I found those switches to be faulty so the laptop believed even when the lid was open that it was closed and it didn't send any power to the inverter. In most cases, when you have backlight failure, it is most probably going to be the inverter. Okay, most of the inverters are behind the bezel here at the bottom of the screen. Okay, some laptops depending on the hinge design you can just take off the screws around the bezel unclip the bezel and you'll have access to the inverter this model however the hinges um, the screen opens from the bottom and you cannot access some of the screws along the bottom of the bezel so after taking out the battery you remove the screws that hold in this top cover okay you remove this cover You remove the two covers of the hinges and you un then unscrew the hinges from the frame. Okay, you can unplug the VGA cord as well. And then that will allow you to carefully remove the, the screen. Okay, be careful because you will still be connected with your your cables that go to your Wi-Fi card. Okay. Let's put a bit of sponge underneath here so we don't scratch the cover. Okay. You can then remove this bezel. You take out take off the covers that covering the screws and then just carefully unclip the cover. The bezel that goes around. Sorry. This plastic breaks quite easily, so just go slowly. Even though this one has been off before, it's still quite finicky. Okay. Right, with the bezel off, we have our inverter. Okay. We've ordered a new part. So basically, unscrew the inverter out. It has an input here and an output here. Okay. Do not touch this inverter with the machine powered on or even with the battery in. There are some serious high voltages output it from this inverter and it will bite you okay so once you've fitted your inverter put it all back together and that's the end of your backlight problems okay we've put the laptop back together as you can see the backlight is now working and everything is working normally um, one other thing I forgot to mention uh, one other possible cause for the backlight not to work is the actual cable that plugs from the from the LCD screen to the motherboard okay if that is not seated properly or if that cable is faulty you could also have backlight problems so at least check that the cable is seated properly one other thing I want to show you 
over here, over here we have a CCFL lighting kit for lighting up the inside of the boxes. Okay, if you are regularly checking LCD panels and backlights, one of these kits are not very expensive. Okay, and inside they have an inverter box. Okay, 12 volts, powered by 12 volts. Okay, what I've done, I've wired in a switch and a power adapter. Okay, so a normal 12 volt DC adapter to power our inverter. So I have a panel here just to show you how it works. Okay, we plug in our panel. Supply 12 volts. And that will be able to test the lamps. Okay, so you'll be able to rule out whether the failure is from the lamp or for something else. Okay, so that's a relatively cheap tester. And if you're testing these things all the time like I am, I highly recommend it. Okay, thank you for watching.